Hi, welcome back to the Box to Life Greenland playthrough. In this demo I've been showing you the solo play. Um, we've just finished up turn two. We've got 14 more to go, 14 more events. So I'm not going to show you the rest here. I think what I'll do is go for a little bit longer, show you some of the things we've not seen, and then come back at the end and perhaps show you how it went. Before we go on though, um, thanks to Ben Osteen who sent me a note on Twitter. Peep Healy, she's been errated and I, I, didn't, I didn't know this. And there's a message from Phil Eklund to say, ignore the D card only. He meant to cross this out, um, but it made the final print. So ignore the D card only there on Peep Healy. So that's, that may help us. It means that she has uh, just an extra plus one hand size for inventions or domesticated animals. So let's crack straight on and we'll see what our event for this round is. It's the um, Greenland Ice Sheet. All right, there's a couple of new symbols here that we've not seen. The first one is an Elder Death. And there's nothing we can do about this. It's Mother Nature's way. All right, every player rolls 1d6. Um, first player is going to be yellow this turn. See the yellow icon. So let's have yellow roll first. So all we do is roll a six-sided die. And we lose Elder number three. That's the sage. So we're a, a sage down. Our hand size is now just one, but fortunately, PP is going to keep it back at one for, for all cards. Um, and we can't make any more inventions. Okay, let's do the tunic green next. That's a two, so they lose the shaman. And then Norse. Is a one, or well, that loses the chief. So any feuds that come up are going to hit us again. So yeah, that might be a priority for, for the Norse now. Next up is the global cooling. This one is going to make the furthest right warm side by a move to the cold side. Okay, and this is how things you know start to cool down. So polar bear and. The Arctic char move to the cold side. Now only ones will count as successes, not ones and twos. The next part of the event's particularly harsh. We've got a snowflake, but it says for each elder. So we have to lose every elder or expend one energy to uh, to save it. So we've got to lose one elder or en or one energy per elder. So for the Norse here they've got five. I'm not sure we're bothered about the Viking chief. Allowed to attack or, um, or do livestock saving mage. No, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. So let's take away Viking chief. Um, but I do want to keep the others I think. Yeah, so let's spend four energy and save the others. Now it's a little less tough on the tool and the tunic because we have uh, we have sailor, and that's one less energy loss during snowflake events. So for the tool, we've got five, so we only got to lose four. So again, let's take out the war chief. That leaves three to lose. Let's keep our elders and expend three energy. One, two, three, and then for the tunic, you know, we've got two trackers here, so that makes it worse, doesn't it? So that's seven minus one for Silo. That's six. We'll take out the war chief and lose five energy. Two, three, four, five, nasty. So that's really hit us hard that event. Finally, it's a North Greenland migration. So we draw one, it's the walrus, and it's going to take out the lowest climax. Yeah, that was the narwhal. We knew that wasn't going to stick around very long, didn't we? Um, out of the game. We like the walrus though. He's uh, four babies. Two fuel, one ivory, both tusks. It's a marine biome. Uh, needs two successes. Now let's move on then to hunter assignment. 
see what we're going to do. That was a tricky decision. The Norse needs energy. They've used their mariner to place three colonists in, in North Markland. Um, Yellow's gone all in on the walrus, withdrawn from Vinland onto the bird cliffs. And Green, Green's after an invention, so they've gone for the, the togglehead harpoon, hopefully making marine hunting a little bit more effective. There is one thing I need to mention, and that's here. We now have five, eight, eight colonists here in North uh, North Markland, in peaceful Markland, and it says here it becomes hostile if there's more than six cubes after the negotiation phase. And what this means is that the North Row is now hostile. Okay. Um, the rewards are the same, assignments permanent. The only difference really is that six, three, and two are now going to cause attrition. All right. But you can pacify it with a piece of ivory. And I'm pretty sure they'll want to do that, so they would definitely expend. Put it back to the peaceful side. Now let's roll these three. We need to two, uh, one success. Yep, we got it. And sixes and four. Yeah, sixes are attrition, but we get one back for the success and then four energy, so that's a good start for red. Now we'll do this one here. We've got one auto success and then we've got two dice. Let's see. Oh, nice. Yes, we got a success and we've got one attrition. But how's, is there anything here we can re-roll? Now the kayak, we've got a husband here, was re on a four. So yet yeah, we lose one, one attrition. I don't have any coal. Save it. Uh, but I get three babies. Um, two energy. Luga was a good find. Three energy. That takes me up to eight, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, let's do the, the green now. We've got four colonists here. Looking for one success. Yep, we've got a couple of successes. We don't want sixes and threes because they're attrition. Uh, but we've got the metallurgy. Can we do any rerolls here? We've got our coal forging process, turns fours into ones. But we do have a marriage here to Seagrid. We may re-roll our threes. Brilliant. So that might save a couple. No, a six and a three. What are these dice loaded? Well, I'm definitely using the iron rule here. Yeah, we're saving these guys. Oh, God. Again, again. But we did get our success. So that's one more colonist. And four energy. Great. Alright, the harpoon. We've got one success and three dice. Uh, we need, uh, yeah, just one success from three. Okay. Ah, nothing. That's a shame. Alright, let's do the, let's do the, let's do the bird clips first. We've got two dice. And then for the war, as we got one auto success and three dice. Right, let's roll these first. Yes, one success. Brilliant. Finally, okay. Um, two babies. Excellent, excellent. Things are looking a bit sweeter down here now. And then three dice here. We're looking for one success. Threes are attrition. We got no threes, and we got two successes. More like it, we get four babies, two energy. Oh my goodness, how quickly things turn around. Domesticated animals, and we will take one for the sheep, then for this one, 
I get two babies and I spend a fuel. Incidentally, if you want to trade one of these in at a time, you can. It's got these values. If I want to just cash that in, discard it, I can get two energy. And then we'll take a baby over here. Elder actions, we have none because we didn't get the successes we were looking for. That ends the turn then. We're doing okay, I think. Yeah, not too bad. Um, the tunit have suddenly taken a bit of hit on population, and the tool have suddenly had a bit of a burst. The, the walrus, I think, was what did it. Um, we've covered most of the rules now, so do you know what? I think we can wrap things up here. We've got a whole stack of event cards to go through and to see us through to the end of the game. I'm going to carry on now and finish up the game. We'll come back in a bit and see how I got on. We're a few more turns on. We've had the Hawley's Comet um, appearance. This one appears every 75 years and it generates a rush of superstition. We had a feud for any populations over nine, two elder die-offs and then um, a snowflake for each elder. Um, unfortunately the turn before I just loaded up with elders so uh, the Norse have taken a real hammering here. They've only got two elders left. No energy. Um, and only a population of five. So it's not looking pretty. Things have gone quite cold. We've got this elk hound in now, which is, which is quite nice. Definitely going to try and grab that one if we can. The tunit are not looking too pretty either. We've got four elders left, population of only three. And the tool has only a population of two. Well, its elders are not too bad. But energy is still a little on the low side. We've got two energy, some iron and uh, a piece of ivory. Things are looking tougher. Things have moved on a little bit now. We're only a few events away from the end, but it may end a little sooner. North Greenland is all completely cold now. South still has a little bit of warmth left in it. Elders are really struggling. We've got no energy apart from the, the tunit who managed to grab a piece of iron and three energy. Just a few more events left now. Populations are picking up again. Elders are still looking sorry. Fortunately, we, we can uh, promote hunters for, for little cost now for, for the tuna in the north, so that might be a bit of a saving grace. I wanted to show you something that's just occurred, uh, just to show you another rule, really. We've got another global cooling event, and the north is completely frozen over, so... What do we do here? Well, as we've got nothing to move to the left, I've just moved the Norwegian elk hound, so the south has gone a little colder. What happens in the north, if there aren't any cards to move over to the cold side, you remove the rightmost one, the one that's been there the longest. So the polar bear is removed from the game in response to that global cooling. And then we have a storm. Each loses a rank 6 elder. So our mariners are lost at sea. Another blow for the tunis. Last event. I thought we'd <laughs> we'd look at the last event and see see where we stand. The Norse do have some population. So do the tunit and so do the tool. So we're looking positive. Let's see what this last event is. It's West Greenland current. We can't enter Markland, we have Elder die off, and then a population of 11 plus, well we've, none of us have got populations that much, and then a global cooling. I think we've won, I think that's, uh, I think that's good. I think we've done it, I think we've succeeded. So all we have to do is safeguard our populations now. Yeah, we don't even need to do anything, we don't need to go hunting or anything like that. We've survived the final event. That is a victory. It was a close run thing though. <laughs> We've, we managed to, to stabilise our populations. Elders really weren't uh, helping us and we kept getting decimated by 
these feuds because of it. Fortunately, we did have domesticated animals. Everyone had domesticated animals. So by the end, all right, you can see the North didn't have any, but what they were doing instead was um, was burning them. So you know, you, instead of having to pay for it, you can just discard and get the value. This one, two energy. Energy was really in short supply by the end of the game. But it was a great game. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. It's worth picking up, and I do encourage you to use the survivalist variant it's going to make this a lot a lot harder for sure but more cha more of a challenge play without it like i've done for your first game because you, you know you can get into the flow you can have a success under your belt just squeeze one here actually the the two knit were looking pretty pretty solid there weren't they that was greenland by phil eckland and sierra madra games bye for now mm -hmm.